All right, everyone, so today I'm going to dye my hair green. I'm going for like one of the greens, like on this shirt, like some type of like bright, fun, lime neon green, but I'm not sure if I can do that because the only real green I have is iris green and it's like half done. And that's kind of more like a minty green, which I like that too. I just don't know if it's gonna be what I want. Now, I also have neon or uh, cosmic sunshine and neon moon from Arctic Fox. So like, I'm hoping that'll make it more lime green or neon and then just in case i have aquamarine and then i might do a streak of black so i have transylvania and then last but not least i have jade which is like this is a color depositing conditioner and it was only five dollars from uh sally so i wanted to use this i thought it would be more green but sorry can y'all see the light <laughs> there jade um but i put it in here so i put a bunch of conditioner and then if you see that dark thing it looks very dark blue so i'm going to mix it and see if it turns green or if it's blue and then i'm probably just going to mix in some of the arctic fox colors from there okay so i started mixing it and it was kind of like a dark blue and now it's like this because there's so much conditioner it's kind of like a cotton candy cloud type of blue i love blue okay i really do love blue and i was thinking after green i will do blue because it's such an easy color to put over green because they're so like similar but, um, so I mean, whatever, it, it's whatever, I don't care. Uh, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna mix in the other colors and I'll update you guys. So I just mixed in iris green and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but now it's more of like a mint type of green, which is, it's good, we're getting somewhere. Only thing is iris green is a really pretty color and I only have half the bottle left and that's it and everything's closed so I can't really get anything else. So that sucks. Now I'm gonna add some neon moon and maybe cosmic sunshine and see if this makes it more like neon and like lime. I don't really know if it will, cause like look at it now, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I just added some more conditioner. The neon moon didn't really seem to be doing the trick, honestly, which I'm surprised. I thought neon moon would make it more lime green, but I just added some cosmic sunshine and I'm really seeing some green coming through, like lime green. But no, Cosmic Sunshine did the trick. Like, look at this, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. So not gonna lie, I'm really surprised that I was able to get the color I want out of what I have. I really thought I wasn't going to be able to, and I just have to do like a type of blue or mint green, which is really nice. And I will do that next, most likely. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. So I'm about to go outside and dye it because um, new rules, can't stay in the house. So let me get my mirror and I'm gonna go and dye this. Oh, okay, and also I forgot to add, I got, uh, oh, sorry, my room is a mess. I literally haven't unpacked anything and I don't plan to. But yeah, I got Uber Response Sustainer and I don't know if this is how you're supposed to use it, but I'm going to mix it in the dye as well. So I got my little setup out here. Here's the dye, here's a towel. We're gonna get to dyeing right now. Okay, so because it's barely showing up, I'm going to mix some aquamarine with some of the cosmic sunshine um, and that should make a green and it did because I need something stronger because this is barely showing up and if it looks like this one is wet when it's dry, it's literally going to look like sewer water. So I'm trying to go for something stronger and we'll see where this takes us. Okay, so I've just taken off my little plastic bag. I dropped my toothbrush. I'm about to wash this out. It's been processing for about half an hour. But yeah, I'm gonna wash it out. I feel like, I don't really watch superhero movies, but whatever superhero has green hair or villain, I don't know, I feel like that. All right, I got out of the shower, braided my hair. We will wait for it to see how it dries. Right. Damn, I look like a mess. Eh, not that bad for quarantine. But <laughs> um, I don't know where I usually film. I usually film in the bathroom. Now I'm filming in my room because like I'm stuck here now. Uh, it's been like today's Wednesday and I think I dyed my hair Sunday. I basically put it in braids and have not taken it out of the braids since then. A couple pieces fell out and that's why I've been wearing a headband because for some reason I can't get all of my hair to fit in one braid. But... I'm gonna take the braids off right now pretty much because this headband is hurting my scalp and it's giving me a headache. And I also 
don't want to have the hair like i don't want to deal with this one piece of hair that will refuse to like cooperate anyway i also said i was going to show you what my hair looked like when it dried so besides this one piece of hair everything else is probably going to be looking pretty good um and i've never had this color before and i really like it because it's not like a dark depressing like emo type of green it's like really bright and fun but it's not as light as like a lime green if you know what i'm saying let's see here the lighting's a little bit better right here so you know today i was thinking um like thank god that i don't have straight hair i never thought i would say that but i am so thankful for my curly texture like it's just it's beautiful i literally have beach waves kind of um and yeah i'm still debating like do i want to grow up my hair or do i want to keep bleaching it i don't really know what i want to do this quarantine sending me into a crisis because it's like you are taking my valuable oh damn that look good <laughs> you're taking my valuable precious time in college where i was supposed to have fun and like dye my hair but also like what's the fun in dyeing your hair if nobody sees it and like yeah i'm showing it to people on the internet and yes i do like looking at it i feel like like a big part of it i just, I just love walking around and like existing and like people seeing my hair it's just so much fun but um i also have social anxiety and don't like to go out so i don't know <laughs> but there's a balance um yeah i really like it it definitely is a change i was getting tired of like that faded pink um that's like faded pink is like the worst color like it's weird because i love hot pink so much and i love like all the shades of pink except for like the really really faded one to where it's like mainly blonde but there's a couple pink pieces that won't leave and that's kind of what i was dealing with so i have this it's a little bit darker than what i wanted because i was going for a lime green but i really like it it looks like grass or like weed or just i feel like i'm a tree like because i'm brown so i'm literally like a tree trunk and then these are like the leaves and branches and stuff but um yes yeah, so i really like that um this is really pretty. Again, about my curl pattern, I love that I don't have straight hair because I used to like straight hair, but now it's just straight hair is so boring, or at least, like, it depends. It really depends, you know? Like, curly hair is just so much fun, you know? I love it. And if I ever want to go straight, I can straighten it, and then I can keep that as long as I want, as long as I don't wash my hair. Um, but the fact that, like, I have this beautiful texture. Now, I mean, well, now it's just been braided, so this is not actually my texture, but, like, you, you've seen it in other videos it's just so beautiful and i love it and i'm so thankful for it and i used to hate that you know like it doesn't look that great when it's short but once it grows out it's beautiful um and yeah uh also i don't know if i said but i was considering throwing in a streak of black i did not do that um i still want to at some point just for fun and to see how it fades but i also wanted to have lime green hair and i think this will fade to lime green i don't really know so i don't know if i should wait for this to fade and then throw a streak of black like let's say if i re-dye it green or not um um oh i don't know if i told you guys but i grew i i planted some sunflowers because i used to do that when i was a teenager and i was crazy about jesus i grew sunflowers because my cult leader jackie price did um but anyway I, I haven't done that in a while especially because i've been back at college but I'm like now that i'm gonna be here for like the next six months <laughs> maybe longer cross my fingers hopefully we won't be but um that's i'm gonna be here for a while i was like let me go grow some sunflowers so i went to lowe's i got some sunflower seeds and i planted them i don't remember if i filmed this or not um but i planted them and they're starting to sprout so i'll take you down and we'll go look at them together but before we do that um i wanted to say i actually forgot where i'm going with this my mind is a mess but um let me show you the back i don't know how the back looks honestly the back might be lighter but this is what we have here so some other things on my to-do list um so i have the sunflowers i also want to finish painting my fence because I'll show you when we get out there. But basically there's a gap between where I had painted everything else and I want to fill that in with the teal color, kind of like this one, but brighter. I I want to do some like nature music type of TikToks or whatever, like the one, like stuff I do here pretty much where there's scenery and music in the background and just put that on TikTok. And I haven't done it because I've been so busy with school and school is keeping me very busy. Thank God we only have two weeks left and then I get a break for about a month and then I start online courses, but I need my month break to do nothing. Um, I filed for unemployment, so if I don't get that, I'm going to be working with DoorDash during that month break. But if not, I will take my money and, I don't know, just chill. Um, also, I, I want to straighten my hair sometime during this quarantine. I just don't know when and I also don't know if I want to, like, add black streaks later or now or what because I do want this to fade to lime green. But I don't know. I also don't want to re-dye my hair anytime soon because, like, I don't know how long we're going to be here. Sally's is closed. Um, I do have 
a good amount of dye left, but I don't know, I just don't want to use it all up, especially if, if, if I'm just here at home and not doing anything or seeing anybody. Um, so yeah, and I mean, I guess I could order more dye online. I don't really know because I'm not much of an online shopper, so I don't know if you can still order stuff online or if that stuff is closed down too. I really have no idea. I live in a bubble under a rock, but I really forgot where I'm going with this, but I'm really just having a crisis because like, I wish I wasn't in school. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, school's keeping me really busy. And like, I do enjoy some of the stuff I do at school, but I also don't. And that's kind of weird. And we are in a national pandemic. And I don't know about you, but I've been arguing with conservatives and people on Twitter who are literally in support or even out there protesting, like saying that this is against their constitutional rights. And I'm just like, like, I don't know what part of me is like, okay, first of all, you have the right to swing your fist as far as you want up until the point where it reaches someone else's face. So that's a quote from someone else. I don't remember who, but I learned it in one of my history classes. So that's something that a lot of conservatives will say, or that's what a conservative taught me. So it's like, I'm repeating that back at you. So going out, you're putting other people at danger because of this virus, or you might get sick yourself. I don't know. I'm not going to debate in this video but I, I forgot where I was going but I'm having a crisis um because literally if they canceled school and we could just chill like I never get bored I can literally find any YouTube video and just I can be entertained forever like there's so much stuff I like to watch like that's keeping me busy I don't want to do schoolwork. my brain hurts everything hurts online classes suck I still have to get up early um but yeah, it's not that bad. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't want to be here. But at the same time, this is actually really pretty. And if you are with me on Snapchat, I've been flexing and like going out in like pretty neighborhoods and filming the beautiful scenery and houses on Snapchat because um, I'm just flexing on everyone because I'm pissed that I'm not at school because that's where I was happy as where my friends were. But honestly, I don't know what it's like there right now because I do have a couple people that I like still there, but a lot of my friends did leave. So I mean, whatever. Um... I'm really having a crisis. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I really enjoyed being a resident assistant. And I, I don't know, like maybe I can go into a career related to that, but I don't think I'm in the right major for that. So I don't really know. Um, I'm getting better at Quiz Bowl. I'm starting to study more. So I'm getting a little bit better. So like, that's good. But honestly, what is the point of Quiz Bowl? Like, I really don't get it. You just know a bunch of trivia. Like, how is that going to help us? I, I know it's giving me a lot of connections, which is a good thing. Um, and I don't know, and I guess it's opening up opportunities because there's a lot of networking you can do at these, like the quiz bowl tournaments, because they're basically conferences, academic conferences. And this video is getting really long. I don't know what I'm talking about. And let me show you my sunflowers and the fence that I need to paint. And yeah, I'm outside right now. Look at how, like, it's literally great. It feels like we're in a black and white picture. And like, my hair is so bright green. <laughs> yeah, so I'm outside. This is the fence, so I'm gonna paint the rest of the fence this teal color, if I can find it. I don't remember what the color was called, and I don't know if it's teal or turquoise. I really don't know. Um, and then my sunflowers here, this is them. They're starting to sprout, so I'm really excited. There's so many of them, and there's some more over here too. These are sunflowers as well, so they're gonna be growing up, and they're gonna be all along here. That's gonna be really pretty. So that was really nice. I also bought, bought some other flowers. I don't remember what they're called. I already threw away the package. I planted them like amidst the sunflowers, like in that same little spot there. I don't know if they are, if they already sprouted or if they're going to, cause I've never grown them before. So I don't know what they look like. Um, but it, the, the direction said to start them in a pot and then put them in the soil. And then I just put them in the soil. So maybe they're not even going to come up because of that. I don't really know. Um, <sighs> lastly, Again, <laughs> I really wish I could just watch YouTube all day. If y'all want me to talk about YouTube drama, I literally watch YouTube drama all the time. The only thing is I'm really busy, so I don't really make videos or upload or edit every day. So I couldn't really do that and I wouldn't be very uh, punctual or something. But if you want me to comment on drama, like literally I'm always checking my notifications. So if you want to comment on a video, be like, hey, did you hear about this? What did you think about it? Like I will gladly uh, pitch in if I have heard about it because I... 
I'm literally watching all the YouTube drama. Um, and I guess another little quick update. I don't know how long this video is. I really hope it's not longer than like 15 minutes because I don't like making long videos. So the artist that I've been listening to a lot of recently is Nicki Minaj, which is crazy. Like her music is so fucking good. And I was ne I never listened to it because I was a Christian. But of course I knew the big hits. I knew Super Bass, I knew Starships, and I knew like maybe one or two others. But wow, she's really good. Um, and it's crazy because I, like, I had this hatred for her for so long, like, as a Christian and stuff, because, like, it was so anti-Christian, but I, I don't know, and I just never thought I would like her, because it's crazy, because I, my two, not my number one favorite artist, but, like, one of, like, two of the artists that I love right now are Nicki Minaj and Lana Del Rey, and I never thought I would like those two people, because, like, those two people are literally, um, like, I, I remember, like, one of my friends back then, who was a bad influence, I guess, because I was Christian at the time, his two favorite um artists were Nicki Minaj and Lana Del Rey. Totally different, but, like, those were his two favorites. And I hated them at the time. I hated Nicki for obvious reasons, and I hated Lana. Be well, I didn't hate her, but I didn't like her style of music for some reason. I just thought she was really annoying and sounded like an old woman, like, trying to sing, but she's, like, moaning or something. It, just, it didn't sound good to me at first. Um, I was like, what the fuck is this? But, and, you know, over time, things change, you know, and I realized like, okay, these people are actually talented or like, I, I grew to like them. And cause I would say Nikki's more mainstream, but Lana is definitely an acquired taste, I guess. Um, and her music is a lot more like old sounding depending on which song, but like, it took time and I eventually started to like it. I don't know, maybe it's cause I'm so gay, but like, <laughs> but like, it's just, I like it now like wow and it's I don't really feel bad about it because I enjoy it but like I never thought I would enjoy it those were two people that like at the time I didn't like how they sounded like I thought like oh Nikki grunts a lot and she's her, her voice is just she's too aggressive with like her rap I guess and I enjoyed I don't know and at the time I thought Nikki and Cardi sounded the same and I didn't really like Cardi that much but like I started to like her um but I thought they literally sounded the same because I didn't listen to Nikki like I didn't remember but and Lana, I just didn't like how she sounded. And I knew Nikki, all she's saying about was like sex, money, and drugs. And I was like, nope, I do not support that or whatever at the time. And now it's just like, whatever. Um, I mean, I still don't necessarily support drugs. I still haven't tried any. Um, and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, but I listen to a lot of music about that now. So like, that's crazy. But <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really forgot where I was going with this. But it's just crazy that now like one of my favorite artists are like the two artists that I said I would never support or like or anything like that but honestly at that time you know it was a period of ignorance you know and obviously I was I had a different set of beliefs back then um and now that I am I don't really have any beliefs <laughs> um I my tastes have changed and I realized okay I actually kind of enjoy this music and like who cares I don't know. I forgot where I was going with this. But yeah, I was ignorant, you know. And then I realized, wow, these people are actually talented. And I enjoy it. And yeah, and this is a really long video. But what do y'all think about my green hair? Do you have any colors or things you want me to do or want me to try with my hair? Um, I forgot where I was going with this. I have a paper to work on. Um, but luckily, I only have to write two paragraphs because it's a group essay. So, <laughs> but I haven't done anything yet and it's due Friday and I'm supposed to put all of our paragraphs together on Thursday. So I really need to write them tonight and today's Wednesday. So goodbye, everybody. I don't know when I'll upload this. I need to sit down and edit it sometime, probably on the weekend. Everything hurts. Okay, goodbye. Okay, also random. I don't know if I ever showed you, but y'all see outside? I'll see those flowers outside there. I bought those, I think in 2016, and they were small. It was just like literally one or two branches. And it's been what, about four years now? Look how big it's grown. Those are oleanders. They are so beautiful, especially up close. I really do need to go up close and show them to you guys. They've grown so much. They're so big now, I love it. And my house feels like an island resort because of these beautiful flowers. We had palm trees too, but they died when we had a freeze about two years ago, and so they're gone. And I don't want to get new ones, but those flowers, fuck yeah, beautiful.